Right, I was a bit bored last night, right? I was scrolling on TikTok, as you do, and uh, I came across this filter, right, where basically it scans your face, and it, and it doesn't just end there. <laughs> and it scans your face, and it gives you your three closest lookalikes who are celebrities. So I had a go, I had a go, thinking, well, you know, what celebrities does TikTok think I look like? I scanned my face, and, uh, well, <laughs> it came back with some interesting results. So apparently I look like... <laughs> apparently I look like Jenny Ortega. Okay. Weird one, but okay. Apparently, I look like Kourtney Kardashian. Uh, Kourtney, if you're watching, no, you are. I'm very sorry. Um, and I look like Kanye West. So those three, you know, weird, weird trio, for, you know, for me to be a part of. So I thought I'm gonna do that again. We're gonna give it a second try. See what else pops up. Did it again. <laughs> so yeah, I got Daniel Radcliffe. Decent looking man, I'll take that, I'll take that. Vanessa Hudgens, I don't really know who that is, but cool. And, uh, and Kanye West, for the second time. So I thought I'd give it a third go. Stephen Yoon, or however you say his name, I'm very sorry, don't really know who he is, but St Stephen, apparently I look like, like Stephen, who I believe is an Asian man, so that's interesting. TikTok also thinks I look like a BTS member, which I believe is a Korean K-pop band, so that's interesting. And um, getting the hat trick is Kanye West. <laughs> What? Well, but I don't look like Kanye West. So yeah, that's uh, that was. Uh, I just thought I'd share to you just before we start this absolute shit show of a Sheffield United career mode. Thought I'd just share to you some fun I'd on TikTok last night. Anyway, this is not what was meant to happen today. Anyway, hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode one of the Sheffield reboot. Well, idiot, self-proclaimed idiot here is going to try save Sheffield United. Sheffield United are currently twentieth. Oh, my webcam has nearly just fallen over. Are you okay, mate? But yeah, Sheffield United are currently 20th in the league. Joint uh, with Burnley on 13 points. Uh, so I thought, uh, you know, I don't even know who their manager is, to be honest. <laughs> Who's their manager? It's not a uh, heckin' bottom anymore, is it? It's someone... Oh! It's Chris Wilder! But yeah, Chris Wilder's the manager. Uh, and I thought, you know, he's only been there for a few weeks, but he's got to go. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, the, the man has saved the job in the most arrogant way possible. It's me. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, self-proclaimed idiot here is going to be trying to. It's going to be trying to save Sheffield United, and I'm going to record it and put it on YouTube and just see what happens. So uh, yeah, well let's just let's just get on with it. So obviously, in a career mode, uh, when you start off a career mode, you get given a bit of money from the board. So with Sheffield United, a team that's just been promoted from the Championship, we didn't get given that much money. Twenty-five million. It's decent. It's a lot of money. You know, I'd be I'd be quite happy if I had twenty-five million to be honest. I thought with that twenty-five million, I, I think I could do some. I could do some dangerous in the transfer window here. So. I put my beautiful, gorgeous negotiation skills uh, to the test, and I, uh, I've brought in some players. So the first signing we made, you may recognise the face, you may recognise the name. If anyone follows the Rising Ballers Instagram account, you may you may have heard of this guy before. Vitor Roque, or Roque. I'm going to call him Roque, because, you know, Roque Santa Cruz. Yeah, we signed the 18-year-old Barcelona superstar, next big thing, whatever, we signed him. You may be thinking... You know, 76 rated 18 year olds, That's, he probably cost quite a lot. Yeah, I got him for free. Yeah, I got him for free. Two year loan to buy deal. Second signing, Arda Gula. So yeah, we got the biggest superstar from Barcelona and we got the biggest superstar from Real Madrid. Who knows if they're going to get on very well, but they're both here for two years. <laughs> so yeah, I've signed two players there, spent no money. And I thought to myself, wow. I am the best in the world at what I do. Hey, what can I say? I'm the best at what I do. And continuing on the theme with, uh, you know, signing players for free, I went onto the free agents list. I know in the FIFA career mode scene, it's a little bit frowned upon using the free agents list. But this is my career mode. I don't care. You can't stop me. So I went onto the free agents list and I found 22-year-old, 75-rated Mexican centre mid, Marcel Ruiz. And yeah, I signed him for free on a five-year contract. So, uh, you know, he's now in the team. And also, while I was in the free agents list, I found Israel Rise, a 23-year-old Mexican centre back who has a lot of potential and I brought him into the club for free as well and also our first and only actual real signing which cost money was Luca Nets. We got him for 6 million we signed him from Borussia Mönchengladbach or something the German team with a black badge I don't really know much about him to be honest. So we're going to play our first game of the season against Crystal Palace. Here we go, match day. All right, this career mode, lads. It's, it's a serious one, you know. Sheffield United. It's a serious one. This is, you know, this is going to be, you know, we're we're the underdogs in this league. I've got to take this seriously. I'm sorry, I've got to do it to them, but uh, you know, I'm whipping out the gamer goggles. Game of spectacles are on. It's uh, it's got to happen. You know, honestly, if I was a Crystal Palace fan watching this video, pff, I, I, I'd look away. I'd turn it off. Please don't, though, because I need I need watch time. Let's play some FIFA, shall we? <laughs> I probably look incredibly horrific with these glasses on, but I need to be able to see, lads. Because honestly, with other games, I don't need glasses to play the game. But with FIFA, I cannot see anything on the screen. I cannot read any names. So I need glasses to play FIFA. So uh, whenever I do a FIFA video, you're going to see me in glasses. So that's um, a shame. Anyway, here we go, lads. Bramall Lane, the beautiful, the gorgeous stadium, the arena, the Coliseum of Bramall Lane. Here we go, lads. Crystal Palace, bring it on. 
Here we go, lads. Cameron Archer, go on. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Here's Decore to Elise. Oh, what a tackle, Vinny Souza. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh, that is beautiful. Souza. Pass that through. Oh, it's poetry in motion. It's a player debut for Luca Nets. Go on. Arda, can we find the net? Arda Gula. Oh, <laughs> Arda Gula. Why have they got Matthews in goal? Why do they have... Hang on. They've got... <laughs> They've got 64 rated Remy Matthews in goal. Right, lads. If we just take shots, we could score a couple goals here. Honestly, lads, I came into this game with a mindset of, let's just try to keep it under six. That would be quite good. But, you know, they're playing their 97th choice goalkeeper. So, we could potentially, you know, get some out of this. Go on, Arda Gula. Try... Oh, he's found him perfectly. Go on, Luca. Oh, Luca, that is... I don't know what he's doing, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> just pulled out the Chris and D move there. Oh, <laughs> didn't even touch him, ref. Go on, lads. Oh, this is beautiful. Pass that through. Oh, that is sensational. The vision. Go on, Luca. Go on, Luke. Oh, bloody hell. Right, here's Elise. <laughs> there goes Elise. He's a brilliant tackle. I didn't even touch him, ref. He just went down. Slipped over, mate. He forgot to tie his shoelaces before the game. So, yeah, like, uh, okay. We'll take that. Here we go. That's a goal. Okay, this is this is a goal though. Look at this, look. That's a goal. <gasps> that wasn't actually that far off, you know. Here we go. Beautiful. Go on, Archer. Go on, Archer. That's beautiful. Sends his man. Oh, that sends... Pass it. Goal. 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 <gasps> goal. It took a couple of attempts, lads. Oh, we scored another one. It's 3-0. It's, it's Cameron Archer. Ex-Borough player. <laughs> That's what I'll know him as. Scores a goal to make it 2-0 against Crystal Palace. I don't know how we're managing this, lads. You know, literally with a manager career. Go on, Archer. No way. Hang on. A little bit of trickery there. Finish that. <laughs> that is a sensational goal. Cameron Archer, what a goal, mate. But you know what? You know what's a really, you know what's a massive shame? Baron Diaz is going to come onto the field of play. going to bring on the young lads, Oli Arblaster. Oli Arblaster is going to come on at centre mid as well as Curtis, 17 year old, at right wing back. I'm going to bring on ex Arsenal centre back, trusty Kai Mason, the 17 year old from Wales, from our youth academy. We're going to bring him on instead of Adagula. Vinny Souza. <laughs> that is just, that is mental, mate. I need to up the difficulty, I think. Honestly, I might need to up the difficulty. This is a bit mad. Right, I've upped the difficulty to legendary. We're up against Nottingham Forest next. We're up against Forest next, and they're trying to loan our player before the game. Trying to get John Egan in on loan just before we play them. That is, that is sneaky from Nottingham Forest. Right, the team's looking good. So I think uh, it's going to be a good game. I think we'll lose, though, but we'll see what happens. Right, lads, this could be, oh my Christ. This could be an absolute disaster, lads. I'm not expecting to win. Oh my... Oh my god. Go on. Cameron Archer. <laughs> I've just scored on legendary difficulty. Cameron Archer. Hey. Hey, I think our team might just be quite good, you know. I think I've just, you know, built a pretty... I think I've just built a Sheffield United super team here. Here's Cameron Archer. Oh, go on. Cameron? Cameron, what are you doing? Why is he just... What? Why did he just forget... Oh my Christ, they're going to score now. Oh. What? That's not a pen. I didn't touch him, ref. Nah, ref, you're seeing things, mate. I didn't touch him. Look, he tripped over himself, mate. That's going to be a save, isn't it? Okay, well, fair enough. It's <laughs> a very good penalty from Montiel. Centre back from Norwich. Oh, Sang... Sanger? Uh, they're they're going to score, aren't they? Jesus Christ! Absolute rocket of a shot from Sanger. What's he doing? <laughs> you just made it 2-1 against Sheffield United, lads. And you're posing for a Vogue magazine, mate. Ah, oh, mate, there's a greater power at work here, lads. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, there's something off with this game, mate. There's something off. Just that. Why is Hamer back? What is going on? It's Gio Reyna. Oh, my God, going in. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Well, then, lads. <laughs> so, uh, legendary difficulty, yeah? Why did I do this to myself? I, I could have just... Oh, referee, send him off the pitch. Only yellow card, mate. What is going on here? Oh, that's a goal. Roque. Oh, beautiful finish, mate, to make it 3-2. Right, lads, we're back into this now. Got a bit more hope than I did before. <laughs> Cameron Archer. Go on, Cameron. Finish that, Cameron. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think that was going to go in. It actually went in. It's 3-3. I'm on legendary difficulty. Cameron Archer is just giving it to the Forest fans, mate. You, it's, you've only made it 3-3. So you've you've equalised, mate. Pass that through. No way. What has happened there? Vita Roque. Finish that. I'm 4-3 up. Hey, what can I say? I'm the best of what I do, apart from don't forget about the other three goals I conceded. Why have we passed it there? Oh, it doesn't matter, though. Bereton Diaz. Hang on, could it back? Beautiful. Finish that goal. Oh. Diaz, goal. 
Mate, this team is unbelievable. I'm on legendary difficulty and I'm doing this. Oh, here comes Gibbs White. Oh, it's a good goal. Two minutes, lads. Can we hold on to get the three points? All right, here we go. Can we hold on to the three points for the last two minutes of the game here? Can Sheffield United start off the Premier League season with six points in their first two games? Oh, we've done it. We've actually done it. 5-4 against Nottingham Forest. 4-0 against Crystal Palace. 5-4 against Nottingham Forest. Alang is in tears. It was a bit of a shambolic uh, recording session, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, see what happens in the editing software and see if I can make this video watchable. But yeah, if you did watch, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Yeah, hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, if you enjoyed, subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you all in a bit. Uh, stay safe. Goodbye.